Okay, we're going to have a look at the words walk, jog, and run now. Uh, we're going to try to make these all into nice logographic symbols, as always, using Descript. So, let's start with the word walk, the simplest possible combination. W-A-L-K. Okay, we're looking at a word that's... Yeah, I'm not very fond of this form yet, but I already can kind of see walking in it, maybe. This this part, portion here seems to give us a feeling of movement, especially with this curve leading into it, almost as if someone's entering or walking down a road. So, we got a good start there for the word walk. Now, what else can we do with it? Let's look at other combos. A-L. A plus L can be A-L. Okay, and then you can connect directly out of there or there. Um, anything else special? No, we don't really got any other special combos we can work with here. This is about all we got. Um, oh, wait a minute. If we add the A into there, we can also add the K to the A like so. Uh, A-K can be this. So we could, and then we could continue off of there or there. So we get, we're doing okay here for combinations. We could add them all into the A, A line, basically, and then all we got is W and A. So we got W, walk. Not bad. I'm starting to like this one. Um, the other thing we can do is we can use other versions of the W. The W can also be like this. So this would also be walk. This is also W, connecting up from the top and bottom. This is R. And this is double R. The difference between W and a double R is that they're spaced. Ver these are spaced out, so they're separated. Whereas the W puts them all together. You just have to be a little careful if you ever do a double R. Don't squeeze them together too much. Space them. Okay. Um. So we're looking at the word walk here. We got our best version, I would say. I don't. I don't think we got a lot more we can do with it. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of looks like walking. Jog. Okay. Three letter word. Don't get a lot of comp a lot of options with three letter words. J, O, G. We could try putting the G inside of the O, like so. But I kind of like this version. Um, we're dealing with jog. It's kind of a bouncy, hoppy version, or it feels kind of springy, kind. You know what I mean? So, jog. I'd make the O a little smaller. Maybe it's like that. Or we could use the other version of the J. I'd say we just stick with the standard J-O-G. Don't do anything special to it, and it kind of looks a little bouncy. I'd say it pro when, when, once we put it next to the walk, I think it'll look it'll look quicker or bouncier or more vibrant than the walk anyways. Run. So we got our R, U, N. Simplest possible combination. Not a whole lot to do with it. Again, we can try putting the U inside, but I'd say we just leave it as is. We got this kind of big lightning bolt feeling. We got an arrow, and then we got a, a curl. If we do it right, nice and quick and sharp, it should look more intense than the jog, hopefully. So, let's give this a shot. This time I kind of angled those a little. Not bad. Walk. No, let's do that again. Let's try to make them square. So. Walk. That seems kind of casual. I'd say this probably seems a little more bouncy in some ways. So yeah, I, th I think we're in, we're increasing in intensity. Mm, okay, well, let's. Sorry, no, let's run, not run. Not bad. Maybe make the U a little smaller, but as you can see, it kind of works out. Um, play with it. Find the versions you like best. But I'd, I'm already liking these. They kind of look like they're increasing in intensity.